East Baton Rouge Parish Coroner Dr. Bo Clark says we are in the era of fentanyl, which has been in that era for the past decade, he says. In 2017, there were fewer than 200 fentanyl-related deaths in drugs statewide. To 2021, that number rose to 1,000. Those numbers from the state health department. Now, in 2022, legislature had Millie's Law, and they cracked down harder on the distribution of fentanyl in 2022. Prison time, five to 40 years. State Representative John Stefanski from Crowley is here now with us, and you have something, a pre-filed bill, in fact, that is much tougher. Tell us about that. Yeah, so, you know, one of the constant themes as I'm kind of traveling around Louisiana, talk to constituents and business owners and really, really everyone, it's fentanyl continues to come up. And uh, also talk to a lot of family members who have lost loved ones due to the fentanyl crisis. And, and you know, as a policymaker, as a legislator, we try to look for solutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, ultimately, I looked at um, a way to really run it out of the state. And uh, I modeled what we're trying to do off of uh, heroin. So years ago, uh, the law of distribution with heroin in Louisiana was life imprisonment. And when you talk to law enforcement, it really did almost run it out of the state other than a, a few pockets. And so what I've done is I've pre-filed a bill that would make it life imprisonment if you, distrib if you distribute fentanyl or car fentanyl or if you manufacture it, uh, as long as you have in aggregate large uh, 28 grams right and 28 grams you know as I look through the criminal code 28 grams usually is that level for the highest penalty and so th there was some similarity there I talked with uh, some district attorneys some sheriffs about that amount it seemed to be a pretty good level to set that at and and again our, our hope is that uh, it'll run it out of the state with the fear that if you deal this uh, you can go to jail for the rest of your life so you pre-file this mm -hmm. and when you do that you go around talking to different people to see what kind of support you would get what kind of support do you feel you get on this? Yeah, I mean, look, the reception has been very positive. You know, even even with a lot of uh, people that ordinarily are not for increased penalties on crimes, you know, just in general, uh, I've seen a lot of support for this. And, and look, it's, it's because fentanyl is so deadly. It, it's killing you know, hundreds of our citizens. Uh, it, it is a drug that oftentimes I believe the user has no idea they're taking. Mm -hmm. And and ultimately a tiny amount can lead to death. Only two milligrams of fentanyl can kill you. And this so man from Georgia, of course. Yeah. It was in his system along with cocaine and alcohol found wrapped in a blanket far from where he was supposed to have been. Uh, but just another tragedy. Yeah, horrible situation. And, and look, uh, r regardless of the intent from the from the person that ends up dying, uh, it's it's just something that's incredibly deadly in our in Louisiana that we have to get rid of. And I, I think, look, it's going to take a multitude of efforts to try to do that. It's going to take a lot of education, education in the form of understanding that any illegal substance that you ingest right. on the market today could kill you because fentanyl could be laced in there. Exactly. There is a, an explosion nationwide right now, different places, Santa Barbara, uh, big wave of this, big bust of this. And in these busts, I find that there always seem to be AK-47s found with this. So I asked the question, would fentanyl, if it were a weapon, would it be an AK-47 uh, or an automatic rifle of some type? Yeah, it would be something that has the propensity to cause, uh, you know, mass damage. You know, if it's been it's been a, it's been likened to a, a weapon of mass destruction. Mm. I, I would call it a bomb, really, wow. because it, if it infiltrates a community uh, and gets into the drug supply, it can kill hundreds of people. And just in just last week, there was a bust in uh, what was it in in around the St. Landry area where they found pounds of fentanyl. And I mean, it, that had the ability, uh, according to the statistics, to kill over a million people. Uh, it, it's, it's incredibly deadly. It's the leading killer now for uh, people 18 to 45, which right. is just Astounding, unbelievable. Astounding, isn't it? It's, it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's unbelievable. And, and look, as a society, we have to decide w when enough is enough. And, and in my opinion, the penalty is warranted. Uh, we need to send a message loud and clear to those who are dealing this. Because if you're dealing fentanyl here mm -hmm. in Louisiana, mm -hmm. you intend to kill people. Sure. It's that simple to me. Sure. Now, you have some other bills that you're going to get in, as a matter of fact, uh, just under the wire because the legislature will begin on the 10th of April. Yeah, so I actually had to take yesterday morning off and just solely work on legislation and, and I should be filing the, the rest of my bills uh, shortly this afternoon. We're actually working on some civil remedies for fentanyl and okay. those who are dealing it. Are they fentanyl related? They are. One of them is. And, and look, what, what I'm seeing is that, and the statistics are there to back it up. It's not just talk. You know, we, fentanyl's coming over from China 
through yeah. Mexico into our country, and right. it's killing our citizens. It and is. so, as a country and as a state, we you know we have to address that as well. And and obviously, look, I think the federal government's going to have to take some some harder stances on that. But I'm going to look at a way to attack it from the state level as well, and from a civil level, to where we could potentially hold some people accountable for for allowing this to come in to the state. Well, it sounds powerful what you're doing, and it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Thanks so much for being here to Absolutely. talk with us about it. Happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.